Hello and welcome to this week's look at action and stunts on film and television. How are you? Good to see you again. Thanks for joining me. We're in 1997. A fine year. Bond was back with Pierce Brosnan at the helm in Tomorrow Never Dies. Um, and John Woo was directing a movie about a face-off between Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Only the face-off involved removing the face. It's far too complicated, and if you think about it for too much, it'll annoy you, so don't. The simplest way to look at it as an action comedy, uh, which it very clearly is in many, many places, it's got huge action potential, uh, lots of wonderful moments, uh, stunt coordinated and second unit directed by Smurs boys, Brian and Greg. And uh, there's a couple of wonderful sequences. Let's have a little look and talk you through some of the fabulous action that is in Face Off. Here it comes. Fabulous. So, Face Off 1997 brings us to the Woo Bang. Let me explain what that is. It's this extraordinary explosion thing that happens, and it's just sparks. It happens a lot in John Woo pictures. Here's a plane crashing into a hangar. Sparks everywhere. There's explosions, but it's just sparks predominantly. I've never understood it. It's a very weird thing. It's a woo bang thing, I think is what it is. Uh, there are explosions through the rest of the movie. Of course there are. Um, but occasionally, you just, I don't know. Anyway, the hangar shootout. Get your man's ear being blown off. Look at that. That's fabulous. Loving that. Um, lots of good doubling. Here's a great example. And again, fine team in place. Uh, this is uh, Mark Riccardi, who is doubling Travolta. Has done for many, many years. Continues to do so here. Throwing himself down before flicking the switch, turning on the engine, and boom. There goes Caster Troy. Caster Troy. Dane Farwell, as the stunt double goes. The prison break sequence, there's a lot of going on here. Dane again in uh, in full view. Here he is there. Look, Dane Farwell does all the doubling here. There's another moment where they're locking down all of the boots. They're wearing magnetic boots, and these boots will then lock themselves down to the floor. Here, gets tasered in the back, and boo, over he goes. The leap from the rig, this managed to make it into every trailer. Um... Big leap. I would imagine this is probably 60, maybe 65 feet. Um, he's just trying to measure himself out. And then when he gets a little further, he's got to bring his feet back in again because he wants to point his toes, hit the water as straight as he possibly can. You don't want to start flailing your way into the water there. You could injure yourself. So he straightens up, points his toes, tries to get straight. Bang, nice in. So there's no possibility of injury. As the plane flies away, would have gone down a fair distance too, I imagine, there. Lost Star Pollux, I love this. Pollux Troy is the brother. So now you've got Nicolas Cage, who isn't Castor Troy anymore. He's now John Travolta's character, swings in to catch the brother, which he does round his legs like that, round his waist. And then the brother, I don't know, does what the brother does. Bit of panic, bit of concern, and then lets go and drops through the roof compartment, which starts off a nice little fall here. So he goes from this first position, that's him falling away. This is a free fall. There's no, there's no wire by the looks of things. This has been slowed down quite dramatically in order to capture everything in place. He doesn't fall. Um, Nicolas Cage's character doesn't fall. He manages to hang on and watches the other guy's brother, because obviously he's now Travolta. This is the, complica the complicated nature of face-off. One face has been removed. Oh, dear. Anyway, falling through the second roof, nicely lit, Glass everywhere, good movement of the stuntman as he falls through, which is Carl Piauli, 
uh, or Puaoli, maybe, Piaoli, uh, falling all the way to the ground. And there's the real brother now because the face is off and it's swapped onto him. And if that's a wire fall, then probably to the floor. I think the first part is probably separate. And the boat chase. For me, I would say the best part of the entire movie, personally. Um, there's some spectacular stuff going on here. It's beautifully done. It's really well captured. I've edited some of this down myself just for time. There's a contact there. One boat pushes into the other one. It eases off and then you go right through the middle. Now that's an explosion. That's a proper explosion. No sparks there. That's full on. Those two guys just getting off the back of that police launch as that boat goes through. And yes, there's the driver popping up. It is being driven for real. Some terrific stuff. Now his boat's on fire. Got to get off. So he leaps from one to the other and uh, traveling pretty quickly, I would say, probably 40, 50 miles an hour. Now the fight between the two doubles, again, captured for real. These are the two stuntmen. They are on the boat. The boat is not being driven. Then he brings out the anchor gives it a swing um, and this all has to be done this will be worked out on dry land it'll be worked out on the boat the boat will be stationary they'll work out those movements to the last detail the punch here is the clincher because that then sends him over the edge he grabs the chain and over he goes and now he's in the water now this is uh, the reason that this particular stuntman has been used here um, he is a world class water skier and it's easier for him to be in the water he's got to turn his balance round that's Mickey Giacomazzi he's the he's the stunt guy here he gets himself up into the stable position there is then an edit now that has to reach up and get back on board the boat before it is then swung around fight between the two of them under here watch what happens here there's a moment where the spear gun which now gets caught there. That's the first part. That then starts to pull the boat around. The anchor comes out. They then come back into line for this. And the pair of them now are just passengers. Impact here sends them through the water. Here's some shots of, of uh, behind the scenes stuff. And you'll see them coming in for the impact. Majority of it is a wire gag and the wire gag is used with a crane you can see the cables there hanging from them as they're thrown through shot and then they will land onto the bank with the boat somersaulting behind them it's a beautifully coordinated piece of work it's a remarkable uh, piece of action to have been captured and when you see all of those behind the scenes pictures then you see the final shot itself in slow-mo look at them coming through the spray they're all cabled here and wired then they're flying through that boat is ro rotating behind them just getting out of the way of it as it hits the ground and there is another fine example of an explosion it's an absolutely brilliant piece of action i've always always loved it um and for me, as I say, it's possibly the best thing in the entire movie. Um, and if you haven't seen Face Off, go and see it. Just for this. Just go and see it for this. It's really worth it. Fabulous stuff from start to finish. Uh, uh, huge thanks to Mark Riccardi uh, for the use of those photographs. Um, and uh, first class action. I mean, really top draw stuff. Uh, lovely behind the scenes stuff. And that, again, that whole explosion thing at the end and the boat flying through the end, the two guys flying through, it's the way it's shot. It's the way it's shot. It's the way it's captured from a number of different angles. And more importantly, the double work on this is really first class. So uh, if you haven't seen it, go and do it. Uh, it's one of those essential lists of movies that you have to see. So make a point of going to see that, uh, even though the two main characters are eating the furniture uh, and uh, it's a huge lesson in overacting and they're doing beautifully. Uh, but please, if you do anything over the next uh, seven days, if you haven't seen that, go and check Face Off. And until next time, it's bye for now.